All right, so this is how it's gonna play today. Stop by, got my coffee, I'm gonna fill the truck up. We're gonna flip a coin. Heads is gonna be for Blue River. Tails is gonna be for 11 Mile. Let's see what happens. Winner for today's adventure is 11 Mile Canyon. Am I disappointed that we're here? No, the wind's blowing. That's a good omen for me. So usually that indicates that something good is gonna happen for us. I did have my heart set on going up to the blue and checking that out. I figured it'd be pretty good. It's supposed to be snowing up there and uh, any of that good jazz. But uh, we're gonna check out 11 Mile today and see what we can do. So here we go. It is time to do some fly fishing. Morning. Good morning. You guys enjoy your ride? All sorts of people out. We got runners, bikers, hikers, fly fishermen, maybe bird watchers, the whole night thing. Anyhow, back to fishing. So this is the first official trip to 11 Mile Canyon. Kind of excited that the coin landed on tails. Um, I do not think that we would have seen the sun today up on the blue. Even though I had my heart set on going up there, um, I'm actually really excited to be up here. So first time, we're just gonna get on the water right away. I walked down just a little bit. A um, couple of little uh, holding spots that kind of caught my eye. So where there's foam, that is a fish's home. Yeah, really digging it. Water clarity, it's like a gin clear colored. So I'm not gonna rush down there. That's, I mean, out of anything, from watching uh, what I do is just take your time, look at the water, double check, let the sun come out if you can, and, uh, and then move on down in there. The uh, good Lord gave us eyeballs and uh, senses. So we're just gonna really look at the water Try to get a good take of uh, what's happening here. Uh, got all sorts of interesting goodies in here. Huh. Seedling sprouting, that's pretty cool. Not gonna lie to you, the hilarious part about this is I'm colorblind. So trying to determine the color of what is floating in our spot sample is just slightly challenging. Okay, making a little bit of progress here. My hands are not working today at all. So having just a little, just struggling a little bit here to, uh, get set up. So just had an absolute complete failure. Um, sight fishing, found some of them schooled up, tried to get in position, huge gust of wind came up. GoPro, egon, uh, right in the water. So it took, uh, took a dunk for us, 
um, really kind of irritated me, so I came back, regrouped, took off the old uh, lucky hat because the wind, it's just cold, so that wind is just cold coming down through the canyon. I go back down and we'll try this over again, and I'll film as much as I can with my phone from there. Finally get one in the net here, and uh, there we go. So we'll take that, 11 mile, uh, finally getting us one here. Thanks, little buddy. Well, it's definitely been an interesting day here at 11 mile. Uh, at least got one. I'll take that. Um, yeah, just struggling a little bit today. Spent most of my time untangling knots. That wind just rips through this canyon. Uh, so that's something uh, to definitely have to remember. Keep that in the back of my mind there. But. Um, Otherwise, yeah, definitely learned a lot. Um, collected a lot of uh, buggies there that I can tie up at the house. And next time I show up, I'll be a little more prepared, have a little more ammo, and uh, see if we can't do a little bit better. But yeah, appreciate everybody watching, hanging out with me here on uh, this fantastic March day on 11 mile, or I'm sorry, in 11 mile canyon, and uh, South Platte. It's good stuff, we'll be back and uh, give it another go. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all next time on Beyond the Fly. So fly fishing has really been a uh, big part of my recovery from a multi-year battle with Lyme disease. Definitely got up here in good time this morning. They are coming out in groves. So they, uh, the wife has kindly put together kind of a travel pack for me. Uh, just of some uh, doTERRA essential oils. So it really has worked for me to come out here, especially when it's cold, and uh, just kind of help protect the immune system. So brutal um, dealing with Lyme um, for several years. Um, pretty much spent the weekends um, just on the couch, sleeping. Uh, couldn't think, couldn't function. Hell, I couldn't even mow my own yard. So fly fishing has been... Uh, really really good therapy for me uh, for my family just for life in general and uh, very very grateful for that very thankful for that as we go into spring and the ticks come out you guys get out more and more spend more time on the water uh, take a few minutes when you get home before you get in your vehicle just do a tick check and by golly if you're out and you uh, get the worst flu you've ever had the following day of being outside Go get a blood test done and uh, don't go through what I've been through over the last almost five years of life. So appreciate everybody watching. I uh, appreciate everybody subscribing. The views, everything uh, literally means everything to me and to share this journey with you. So it's time to go fishing. <laughs>